Hello, happy, well today's Wednesday, but uh, you could be watching this anytime, I hope you are. Uh, I just wanted to uh, bring a, uh, just something from the Word to you today, and uh, hopefully a word of encouragement. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I just thought we would uh, pray over you and, and sing this song over you. If you know the song, you can sing along. Uh, if you want, let us just sing it over you. I, I haven't played with the worship team in quite a while, so it might be a little rusty, but my son is working tonight, so uh, we're going to pray, and then we're going to just sing a song together. Dearly Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we just thank you so much for your grace, your goodness, Lord. We just pray for your peace, Lord Jesus, over this nation, over this country, over this community, Lord, and over... Uh, our family, over everyone that's watching right now and, and participating in this time, Lord, we pray that your word would just bring encouragement and joy. Uh, and Lord, again, we pray for your peace, Lord. We pray for your blessings, and we thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
got a little choppy there in a couple parts. But uh, thank you, Sonia. That was good. I uh, just want to read a verse to you real quick. I hope it encourages you tonight and uh, or today, this morning. Um, I want to read Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse 1. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by a, such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Paul writes this to us. Uh, after verse 11, he gives us uh, kind of this rundown and this story of all the great heroes of the faith that had come before Paul. And, 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 and essentially talks about their victories through struggle and through trial, through faith. Uh, and um, he talks about, uh, since we're surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses, uh, this idea that so many have gone before us and have endured so much for the glory of God and for uh, just running the race uh, uh, that, that God has put before us and living well, um, that it's our turn, it's our time to live by faith and to run the race and to do it well. And we can do it. And he says, casting off everything that hinders us so that we set aside everything that would keep us from living the way that God has called us to live, from living in victory, living in joy and peace that Jesus secured for us on the cross. That's what he's called us to do. And that's that's what we need to be doing, what we need to be living. And and. Uh, you know, I was thinking about this, is, is that it, it's, it's, it's not so much how you start the race, but it's how you finish the race right. that really determines our character and who we are. Uh, I think about people like uh, King Saul in the Old Testament, started the race pretty well, ended the race terribly, fell away from God, uh, even became an enemy of God. Think about Judas. Judas is an interesting character. You know, when we think about Judas, we think of Judas as being kind of the, the, the ultimate villain or the, this ultimate picture of villainy uh, because he betrayed Jesus. But Judas started as one of Jesus' disciples. And that's always been fascinating to me because uh, not only was he one of Jesus' disciples, but he was in charge of the money. He was the treasurer, meaning that Judas was trustworthy, that they thought, oh, we can trust this guy. He's a good guy. Uh, and Jesus called him. Because Jesus saw something in him, but he didn't finish the race too well. He messed up, and he fell away, and he lost his faith in who Jesus was. And he didn't finish the race that God put before him. But then you think of somebody like, like Paul, who, who, who writes this letter for us, uh, uh, started out as Saul. He was a terrible guy. Thought he, was, thought he was living for God. Thought he was doing the right thing. He was a Pharisee, but he was persecuting the church, and Jesus said that he was persecuting him. Uh, uh, not a great start, but Paul is one of the great heroes of the faith. And here we are tonight talking about Paul and, and his teachings and, and his writings. And, and, and so Paul finished well. He ran the race and he finished well. And we remember him because of that, because of how he finished. I think about Peter. Peter was an interesting disciple. He, um, you know, Jesus called him and, um, I don't know, he did some interesting things. I have no doubt that he loved the Lord, but... But he sure denied Jesus three times, just like Jesus said he would. And he messed up on several occasions. But Peter, Peter finished the race and he finished well. In fact, Jesus said that, 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 that Peter, um, uh, Peter would finish his, his life and that he would, he would die in a manner like Jesus did. That, that he would follow him and that he would be uh, um, martyred. And he was. In fact, when, when, when Peter was crucified, he said, I'm not worthy to die in the same way that Jesus was. Hang my cross upside down because I'm not worthy. Peter finished well, and we remember him well because of that. His character speaks to that. And so, church, Paul's encouragement is this in, 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 in Hebrews chapter 12. Let us run with perseverance the race 
marked out for us. Amen. And we need to have perseverance right now. Hang in there, church. Be encouraged that God loves you. That, that even right now, maybe we feel stuck at home or we feel kind of trapped. But he's set a race for us to be running. We need to have our faith in him. We need to be praying to him. We need to be in his word. And we need to be encouraging the people around us. That God is good. That he is good. Just like the song he sang tonight. Let's reflect on the goodness of God. It's easy to reflect on the mess of the world. And, and maybe even our own mess. And, 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 and our own frustrations. But my encouragement today is let's have enough faith to, to, to reflect on the goodness of who God is and to run the race that he's set before us, to be an example of Christ to our family, to our neighbors, to our friends, and to trust in him for these days and what we're going through. Amen? Amen. Have a great week. Oh, please. You know, I just thought, can we just close? Uh... We maybe want to pray out, and we just sing the doxology together. Yeah, I can't play it, but it's we'll okay sing to it. sing it a cappella. Yes. You want to pray first? Or you want to sing that first and pray? Mm. We'll sing it and pray. Okay, let's sing it first. Okay. Thank so you guys know the doxology. We're gonna sing this together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Love you all. Talk to you soon. God bless you. Bye.